Hey everybody, Scott Sprencer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. I got a free NFL draft prop. In fact, my second free draft prop, prop coming up at the end of this report. If you missed out on the first NFL draft prop, go check it out on my YouTube page. I posted it on Sunday and it's available over there. Uh, also going to talk some Dallas Cowboy football over under wins total, all that good stuff on this report. Uh, also a quick note about Asian baseball. The Korean Baseball League, well, some of the books are posting lines on it, taking action, uh, but we're going to wait a little bit longer because it is exhibition season uh, that started or starts on Monday night, and uh, we're going to wait for the regular season, which looks like a May 1st start. Cool thing about it, it's not going to be played in the wee hours for the most part, as we've seen in the Taiwan League, and uh, there is talk that we might see some of these Korean baseball games on ESPN. It is a better brand of baseball than what we've seen in the CPBL. More teams, for one thing, and, and more of a AAA type of game rather than the CPBL, which a lot of people have said that it kind of rates like double-A baseball. So we're off to a good start, though, in Taiwan baseball. We've cashed both of our four-star plays. Uh, we had a sweep this past weekend between Taiwan baseball and soccer, and uh, we're going to continue that. So uh, my next Taiwan baseball play is going to go on Wednesday, early morning hours, as you know, a couple hours after midnight here on the uh, West Coast. I will post my Taiwan Wednesday play on Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 noon Pacific, over at DocSports.com, and that'll give you about 14, 15 hours to be able to get that play and get involved if you wish. So it's kind of the way we're doing it. For these early morning start times, I've been posting at DocSports.com after 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 noon Pacific time for the next day's games. Hopefully, we won't have to do that with the Korean Baseball League. They'll hopefully continue to play those games at 10 p.m. Pacific nightly, but we'll let you know as we get closer uh, to the regular season. If you're interested, you can bet preseason uh, Korean baseball right now. A lot of books taking action. All right, uh, wanted to mention also real quick, check out uh, Rafael Esparza and I did a bunch of NFL divisional videos for the upcoming season. We cover the entire NFC. Uh, we give you our opinions. Those are done. We're posting one or two every other day or so over at DocSports.com. And then next week, uh, we'll jump in and do all the AFC teams. The cool thing about doing the AFC next week is we'll have the draft behind us and be able to incorporate the upcoming NFL draft into the mix. But again, don't forget about my NFL draft package. We've got four plays available at DocSports.com right now up until draft time. You don't want to miss out on those. We'll get you that free one in just a moment. Let's start uh, where we left off in the NFC East. We left off with the Dallas Cowboys. Let's cover them today. Uh, William Hill plus $1.20 on the Cowboys to win the NFC East. And they currently have an over under wins total of nine and a half wins minus a buck ten either way. Coming off another disappointing season. Eight wins last year. No playoffs. Uh, it's tough to make a move on where this team is going to land over under until they actually sign Dak Prescott's name on the dotted line. Now, all reports on Monday afternoon were that they are this close, that Dallas made a really nice offer, and uh, I think we're just you know, not going to see Dak playing anywhere else this year. That would be my own opinion. But from seeing what the latest offers are, I don't think he's going to turn that down. They did re-sign Amari Cooper, and you had to like his rapport with Dak when they played together last year. I do like, for the most part, what Dallas did in the offseason when it came to free agency. Uh, they signed former Panthers defenders Gerald McCoy, Dontari Poe. Uh, they signed HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix on the defensive backfield. They picked up a corner from the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, they did lose a few on defense, including Robert Quinn. You'll remember we talked about him in one of our earlier previews. They also lost uh, Byron Jones, and the offensive line did take a hit at center. So we'll see if there is strong run of the football this upcoming campaign. Uh, when I look at their strength of schedule, I give them 130.5 points. Now, if you uh, put that into 2019's strength of schedule mix, it would have been a little bit tougher than middle of the league last year. So they're going to be around middle of the league as far as strength of schedule is concerned in all likelihood. If Dak Prescott signs, I think they win 10 games this year. I think to get back to the postseason uh, and, and if he doesn't well then it's probably not going to go too well for the Dallas Cowboys in the 2020 campaign campaign but there's my thoughts on Dallas we'll certainly update our previews on the teams that we think you really need to sink your teeth into as we get closer uh, to the start of the season also wanted to have that uh, free draft pick for you it's our second free draft prop that we've posted check out the Sunday video if you wish uh, but this one we're looking at Alabama and the total amount of Alabama players who are going to be 
drafted in Thursday's opening round. Uh, the over-under is five and a half. Now, this one shot up a little bit, the price. I've seen the under anywhere from a buck 45 up to a buck 55. Uh, so shop around a little bit for that best price. But as you can tell, I'm looking at the under. We know they've got five guys who are almost assured of going in the opening round. Henry Riggs at wide receiver. Uh, Jedrick, Jed, excuse me, Jedrick Wills at uh, offensive tackle. Jerry Judy wide receiver. Tua Tagalavoa. Tua is what I'm trying to say. Tagovailoa at quarterback and their safety, Xavier McKinney. So there's some guys who are almost assured of going in the opening round. The problem, uh, if you like the over, and the reason a lot of sharps are betting the under, is that the next probable draft pick from the Alabama program is likely to be Diggs, a corner, and most people are thinking he doesn't go in the top 10 of the second round. So it's highly unlikely we're going to see that sixth player from Alabama get drafted in the opening round. So there you have it. We're playing under five and a half players from Alabama to get drafted in the opening round. And again, don't forget, we've got a four prop package available at DocSports.com right now for Thursday's opening round of the NFL draft. It gets underway at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. All right, I hope you like these videos. If you do, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. We'll talk to you tomorrow on Wednesday, no later than 5 p.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. Probably have a new draft prop for you available at that time. We'll talk to you then.